Hey guys, Heather S here. Welcome back to my channel. I was, I hope you. <clears throat> <clears throat> I was away for two weeks. Um, actually, I wasn't really away. It just I had some computer issues, but we finally got it up and running, and it feels so good to film and get another video up for you guys. So I'm gonna keep the intro short. Uh, today's video is gonna be all about contouring and highlighting. I'll show you all the tips and tricks that just make it easy and foolproof. So let's jump right into it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So when contouring and highlighting, there are a couple of really important things you have to be aware of. First of all, one, always stick with the matte shade. It looks more natural. Contouring is meant to create the illusion of shadow on the face and add more depth and dimension. Two, be aware of your skin tone and your undertone. A lot of people contour with bronzer shades, which can look orange and unnatural. Make sure you find one that works for your skin tone if you're very, very fair or very, very deep. Undertones that are in the soft grays, beige, natural taupes. There are different type of contour products that you can use. For me, I have the easiest time, believe it or not, blending with a cream product. This is the Milani Cream and Liquid Contour and Highlight. The top end is a contour shade, and the bottom end is a highlight shade. We want to find the high points of the brow, the hollows of the cheeks, the jawline, and the nose. Make sure it's not an orange base, but it's a natural gray, beige, or taupe. Step number three, it's all about blending. So we want to make sure that our contour looks really well blended, so there are no harsh lines, stripes on our face, just make it look soft, very natural. We just want to trace along the hollows of our cheeks, along our hairline, and jawline. So we just want to apply that contour everywhere on our face where we want to create the illusion of shadow, which creates structure and dimension. I like to contour the side of my nose just to give it a little bit more shape. Start off with a light hand and gradually build it up. You'll find you have a much easier time and it's much more forgiving that way. It's always better to add than to take away. And as you can see, I like to use a damp beauty blender to blend it out. If your skin is on the oily side, I would absolutely recommend using a powder contour. But if you're like me and you have dry skin, I think a cream contour is great and it's so easy to blend. It just looks a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone. We want the skin to just look naturally sculpted and structured. And that's what contouring is meant to do. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, so after we've contoured our face, next we're going to go on and highlight. And yes! Highlighter can be shimmery. For highlight, we want to illuminate or bring out the points of our face that are naturally illuminated. They are the high point of the cheek, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, underneath the brow. I'm using just the other end of the Milani Contour and Highlight Duo. You can go shimmery, you can go sparkly, you can do bright, you can do really, really subtle. <laughs> Bless you. What the heck? But this is just really subtle and really natural and just catches the light really prettily. Prettily. And maybe we'll put a little bit in the corner of our eyes. Oh, all right, we'll just put it all over our face. And I'm just gonna quickly pop on blush. And if you feel you wanna put your highlighter on last, on top of the blush, by all means do it. I just put it on first because I think it looks a little bit softer and more blended. All right, guys, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed my video on a simple, easy, foolproof way to contour and highlight. Hope you are able to find the right products for highlighting and contouring that just work for you. Please don't forget again to subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. I'm gonna try to get videos up very consistently for you guys on a week to week basis. Hopefully once, maybe twice a week, but that's a goal. All right, that's it. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you in my next video and thanks so much for watching.